Hello, my name is Tony Andrews. I'm the Global Product Manager for Info Asset at Innovise. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import data into Info Asset Manager. In a previous video, I showed how to create a master database and set up a collection system network and a water distribution system network. And we're going to be using that collection system network um, to import into. So let's get started. So before I start importing data into Info Asset Manager, I'm going to create some user-defined flags. Now these flags are useful in many ways, but in this case I'm going to set a flag that represents the different types of data formats that I'm going to be using to import data into Info Asset Manager. So let's get started with creating some data flags. On the toolbar you'll see this, this tool, Use to Define Flag Tool. You can see already that we've got default flags. Um, one of the default flags I'm going to use is the hash v, and that's the CSV import flag. But I'm going to create some uh, new data flags um, for the different formats that we're going to be uh, importing from. So let's start with the um, geodatabase. So I'm going to give a code of GDB. Need to set a color, so let's set a color of sky blue, and we'll put a description of geodatabase. Another data format we're going to be importing from is Shapefile. So let's type SHP and set a data flag, uh, maybe grey, that I haven't used before. So that's Shapefile. And the last data format is XML. So again, choose a, uh, a colour that we haven't used before. Maybe pink. And I'll give you a description of XML. Okay, so there are three th flags that we've created, and we're going to be using the default flag hash for, for CSV import. So click OK. So the main tool that you'll be using to import data into Info Asset Manager is called the Open Data Import Center. You can find that under the Network menu item, Import Open Data Import Center. Now I'm not going to go through every single option in this Open Data Import Center dialog. I'll just be going through the, the key ones, the most common ones that you'll be using when you import data. Starting from the top, we have to specify into which Info Asset Manager data table we're going to be importing data into. So let's start with nodes. I'm going to be importing node data from a geodatabase, so I need to set the flag to geodatabase. I now need to navigate to that geodatabase. You can see I have a geodatabase with a feature data set called Croyd, and in that feature data set I have a number of feature classes, one of which is called node, called node. So I'm going to add that. And in the field mapping configuration part of the Open Data Import Center, this is where we match the import data fields from the geodatabase to the node object fields in Info Asset Manager. Now normally, when you're doing this for the first time, you will have to select the uh, import field to um, match the object field in Info Asset Manager. But fortunately, the import data in the geodatabase has import field names that are very similar to the Info Asset field names. So I can click on the Auto Map button and that automatically fills in the uh, import field data headings against the object field headings in Info Asset Manager. Now at this stage, I recommend saving this configuration. So I click on the Configuration button and then Save the Configuration. That way, we'll be able to reuse that configuration file when we come to do future imports and not have to go through the process of doing all this field mapping. Okay, now we're ready to import the node data from the geodatabase. So I click on import and it tells me 254 new objects have been imported 
with no warnings. Okay, let's move on to the pipe. You must select the pipe table in Enviasat Manager. And this time I'm going to be importing pipe data from a shapefile. So choose the source type to be shapefile. Select the file. And as before, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll have to match the data fields, which is what I'm doing here, upstream node ID, downstream node ID. But once again, if I hit auto map, if I set manager fills in those data fields for me. Now I can go ahead with the import from shapefiles. And that's telling me that 241 objects have been imported. And as you can see in the background, you can see the green lines, they're the pipes. So let's move on to importing pumps now. So again, select the object table, pumps. This time we're going to use um, an XML file. Choose XML as the source type. Navigate to the data file. And again, I'm going to hit auto map and click on import. This is telling me three pumps have been imported. And the last thing we're going to do is import data for a weir. I'm going to choose this time to import CSV data. So I'm using the default flag for CSV format. I choose the source type once again, navigate to the CSV file, click on auto map and perform the import and five new objects have been imported. So that's completed the import process. Let's go take a look at what these flags look like um, and how useful they are. So I'm going to close the Open Data Import Center. I'm going to open a new assets grid window. So this is the tablet view for, uh, for data that's in Info Asset Manager. Now remember, we imported nodes from a geo database and you can see those data fields and values that have been imported are now labeled with the GDB flag and we have that sky blue color that we uh, used to denote that data flag. If we move on to pipe you can see now we have shapefile flag. If I move on to pump we can see the XML and if we finally move on to weir you can see the hash V for the CSV data format. So let's recap. Before we did the import, we created user-defined flags, which we were going to use to label the data. Then we did the import using the Open Data Import Center, and we imported nodes from a geodatabase, pipes from a shapefile, pumps from XML file, and we are from CSV file. I showed you how to configure the Open Data Import Center, paying attention to the need to match the import data fields to the Info Asset Manager object fields. We then opened the grid of assets and we could see for each Info Asset object type that data has been imported and those data fields have been assigned the relevant flag. Thank you for watching.